This is a new text to image AI website by Google and this AI website can generate a very good realistic images. You can see these images on the screen. See this particular image was generated by this website. You can see how realistic it is. You can see how it looks more like human. You can see the detail of this image. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this website to generate an AI image for yourself and the good part is that this website is free as of the time of recording this video i don't know when you are going to see this video but this website for now is completely free and can generate any image of your choice so we are going to go on now to see how to make use of this particular website this website name is called image effects so i'm going to give you the link to this website so you watch this video to the end as i'm going to be telling you where to get the link to this website because if you want to use this website and you just go and type image effects, you won't be able to find this website. So now from here, I'll just go to this is the image effects website. So I'll click on it and wait for it to open. So some of you might be having these challenges whereby they say image effects isn't available in your country. That is why I'm going to give you the link to this website. So watch this video to the end. So um, if you see for me to use this website, I'll just go here. Um, when I use this particular link, they are not going to tell me that this uh, website is not available in my country. So when you come to this website, you are going to sign in. From here, you will see a sign in button. So you just have to sign in using your Google account to sign in. Now to start using this website, you will come here and click on remix. So you can see this button, click on remix. And when you do that, you will see this particular interface. I'm going to be, I'm going to explain everything that you are seeing here for you so that you can start using this website. So now I'll come down first. You will see edit history. So from here, I'll come down. We need to set the kind of image that we are looking for. So from here, you need to come down and click on settings. When you click on settings, you can see different settings here. So this is the model. You can select best quality, leave it on best quality. Then you come here, you see aspect ratio. So there are different aspect ratio here. We have the square aspect ratio, portrait, which is the TikTok and the YouTube shot. Then we have landscape, which is a YouTube main video. Then we have mobile portrait. Then we have mobile landscape, which is um the mobile landscape four by three. So for anyone you want to go with, you can select depending on the platform that you want to create your video on. So for this video, I want to create my video on YouTube. So I'm going to select the landscape, which is the 16 by nine aspect ratio. And once that is selected, so from here you can see this is called seed. So what this seed does is that it seed from set one is locked to create similar outputs. So with when when this when you lock a seed like this, it's going to generate similar output, which is um similar faces. Okay, so you can unlock it like this. They say seed is unlocked to give your output more variety. So I don't want more variety. I want to maintain similar faces. So I'm going to click on lock. So depending on what you are going after, that is what you are going to select. So now from this place, you are going to enter your prompt. So you can see this place. So if you want um, this kind of images, let me go down. So this is it. So what I'm looking for, I'm going to select this particular area. This particular one, this particular one, because I want four images at the same time. So you select that. So from now, you're going to come here. So you just click inside this place to delete what is already here. I'm going to delete this. Use your space button on your keyboard. This website is also available on your mobile phone, so you can access it. So now I'm going to copy in, copy my prompt, which I've um, um, created. So now I'll just paste in my prompt. So when I paste in my prompt, you can see this prompt is under the bright afternoon sun outside the university auditorium. So this is my prompt. So I'm going to come down here and click on create. So now the image is going to start creating. So you can see here it's creating and I'll show you the output of this image. So guys, you can see the output of this image. Let me just open one of them so that you can see how cool this image is. So you can see how realistic this image is. If I click on this downside, I can select any of them just like this. I can keep on going, select any of them so you can see the different images. So from here, you can see that the faces are the same. Okay. The faces are the same. That is the use of the seed that I talked about. Then if you go here, you can see the prompt that I use in generating this image. So Google is doing a very good job. The Google image FX, they are doing a very good job. So when you paste in a prompt they are going to give you this you can see they will highlight some of these key ish this key factor that generate your image so this is the name of this person 
um, certificate should also be included so you can see that so if you want to change this name you can click on this drop down arrow here just click on this drop down arrow so you can see other names here then if you click on this 25 years old you can select different age then if i click on certificate you can select degree or award as the case may be by just there are so many things you can do here you don't need to type again so you can change this blue Ankara shirt to any shirt at all so this is a very good website to use so if you want to download your image after opening your image you can click over your mouse or your finger on it and from here you can see this download button so you can simply do what download these images and you can go ahead to use it without more watermark this website doesn't have any watermark on your image so you can go ahead and make use of your ai image in any project that you are working on thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so please like this video and drop a comment under this video if you need the link to this website please let me know in the in the comment section of this video that you need the link to this website and i'm going to send you the link to this website